35 years ago, 2 million babies were born every year in Japan. Today, this figure has dropped by half. Fertility rates have declined to 1.37 children per woman. If this trend continues, the country's population now standing at 127 million could fall below 100 million by 2050. It costs a lot to have babies, and there are a long waiting lists to secure a place at kindergartens or primary schools. It all makes it very difficult to have children. But the high costs of raising children may not be the only reason for the country's declining population. People tend to get married later in life, reducing the chance of having large families. And having children outside of marriage is still largely taboo. The main demographic reason for the low birth rate is the postponement of uh, marriage. And uh, already uh, among uh, women aged 30, 34, uh, one third is uh, single. And uh, they are very difficult to find uh, partners, you know, up to uh, 40s. Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama and his Democratic Party are ready to roll out a wide range of family-friendly policies. They have pledged to increase benefits for all newborn babies. And the new government has promised to make public schools completely free and to give all families almost $300 per month for each school-aged child. The fact of the matter is that a lot of women are not able to work and raise small children at the same time, even if they wish to do so. If authorities gave them more help, I think many more women would consider having children. At present, 70% of women end up resigning from their jobs when they have a child. And a few years down the line, the vast majority decide to stay at home, while those who go back to work often end up in part-time jobs.